What's up, boys and girls? Welcome back to Expression Culture. Here with me, Gareth, the Honda Guru. Today, I'm off to Honda, uh, my local Honda dealer, although not my actual local one. I have to drive past um, a, my local Honda dealer because I don't trust their service department. Previous experiences and all. And not only that, but they will refuse to use the hybrid Honda oil, the green oil, as, as well known, um, because they buy all their barrels in bulk and they choose, yeah, not they're, they're not going to use it. Which I find, uh, I, I got quite angry, obviously, at that, because I'm a paying customer and I choose, I, I can have what I want in my car. Um, it's a Honda supplied oil and they should put in what I fucking tell them to, stupid cunts. Anyway, bit rant over there. Uh, already this morning, I've had my brake fluid and clutch fluid changed. Um, me and my good friend John at my work. Um, well, the business I work for is actually the same site that I work on. Um, we've done the, the clutch and uh, brake fluid change today. Obviously, he did most of it uh, from underneath and stuff. And obviously, I just sat here pumping the brake pedal on the clutch pedal. Which is very kind of him. Obviously, I had to pay for that luxury. Um, so yeah, I'm going to head over to um, Crown Honda Garage in Sowham now. Not going to go to John Banks Honda in Cambridge because their after sales are appalling. However, um, the sales team are pretty good. Got a good friend there called Darren Briggs, and he's a he's a good guy. If you need a if you need a car locally uh, from the Honda network, go see him. So. On the way, I'm going to. I'll probably check in when I get there. I might not. <laughs> right, well, I've just turned up at the Honda dealer, uh, Crown Honda Sun, and uh, we're gonna take it in for its service. See what there's there. Can work on. Okay, so service done. They've given it a quick little clean as well. I did actually ask them this time, and normally I um, won't let sort of car dealerships uh found out my cars but it was a bit grimy on the outside I didn't ask them to do the inside it's fine anyway um everything's fine wiper blades a little bit smeary um haven't replaced them for two years so what can you expect the tires slightly slightly perished on the on the front which is obviously due to camber uh for uh because it's lowered but all good good drive at home now and i'll talk to you when i get home all right there we have it boys and girls CRZ's all clean. Yes, I know the bonnet's up. I've uh, I've obviously gone and checked over his work. I know I shouldn't do, but uh, it's a bad habit being an old technician and obviously loving your pride and joy. But yeah, she's all all done, ready and fresh again. Uh, like I said, she didn't really. She didn't need, doesn't really need anything. Oh, she's so stunning. So yeah, I'll back home now. Oh, I'm glad that's done. Uh, it's a pain in the ass at the moment getting the car serviced. Every Honda dealer locally, I don't know if it's just Hondas in general, but none of them are open Saturdays. I work Saturdays, so why can't you? I work in the auto industry. Anyway, yeah, so I had to book a day off work to get this done, which I took advantage of that and obviously went and uh, oh, bloody wind. Uh, uh, took advantage of that and obviously got John um, to help. Um, I say help, he did it really all. The only thing I did was really pump the clutch and the brake pedal. But yeah, got John to do the clutch and brake at our, our work. Which is good. That's another thing off the list that needed to be done. Uh, next up, well, I've got to fit some, got some new parts to fit to it. So that's, uh, that's something for you all to look forward to. Got a few more videos on the Jazz as well. Uh, like I said, things will slow down over winter, but we'll see what happens. So thank you all for sticking around. I know it's only been a little short video. Uh, and you can probably tell I'm doing this on my phone, um, just purely because I didn't have my other camera on me. Um, but yeah, uh, check out my sponsor, Danny at Dino Days. You can hit, hit them up at Dino Days Performance Parts. Uh, .co.uk. Um, check out the website. 
Uh, you can sort of see what's going on during the day, all the parts from there as well. Uh, lovely people. Richard is really, really good at what he does as well in the workshop. Uh, a few shout outs to a couple of nice people that I really, really appreciate their friendship um, that I've uh, generated with them. Um, Michael, Type R Tweaks, um, go check his channel out. Uh, I'm sure all of you know Cal Bunga Car Diaries, Ben and Chrissy. Um, that relationship has has sort of bonded further and further since we actually got to meet each other a few months, weeks back, I can't remember. Um, what else do I really like? Rob Stavithek, he's a, he's a nice lad. Um, oh God, I'm sure there's loads of other people, but I just can't remember them all. Um, who else? Modfix, uh, FN2 Ops. I think they're the main ones I watch. I mean, why out again? Um, I've got a really good friend uh, in Kansas, in America. Um, his channel is called Track Ready. Uh, it's mainly CRZ stuff, but there are other stuff on there. He hasn't posted anything in a while. Um, I do need to check up on him, make sure he's all right, because obviously COVID's a bit worse out in, in the States. But yeah, I hope he's all right. Um, Jazzy Boy, if you like your GD Jazz stuff, and he actually tracks his car. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff he does is in track preparation. Um, I really apologise if there's others that I watch regularly that I haven't spoke to. Speed Academy, I know I shouldn't really shout out for a company as big as that, but I really enjoy their videos. They're really good. Anyway, boys and girls, I'll catch you in the next video. Pete, no, don't do it. Nearly did it. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.